Hello guys, today we will discuss single phase full converter drive. For this single phase full converter drive, the full converter means there are four thyristors in conduction. Four thyristors in conduction. There are four thyristors T1, T2, T3 and T4. These four thyristors are in conduction so I am calling it as full converter. If uh, only two thyristors are in conduction I can call it as semi converter. So there are four thyristors in conduction so I am calling it as full converter drive. A full converter is a two quadrant converter in which the output voltage can be bipolar. So bipolar means as you know bipolar means two directions of voltage will be present. Two directions of voltage will be present or I can have positive voltage as well as negative voltage positive voltage and negative voltage conduction but the current will be unidirectional so the current will be positive only as you know the thyristor will conduct only unidirectional no? so the current will be positive only the voltage will be positive or negative but the current is uh, positive so I can represent in first quadrant and uh, fourth quadrant here these are uh, the voltage can be positive or the voltage can be negative if you see here the voltage ea is positive in the first quadrant ea is negative in the fourth quadrant but the current will be positive only the current will be positive only so if you see the circuit diagram there are four thyristors t1 t2 t3 and t4 t4 and t3 it is supplied through a voltage and the current will passing through source current this is the source current source voltage as well as source current it can be represented with vs or e and uh, the uh, voltage will be ea load voltage will be ea and the current uh, armature current is ia and the uh, armature resistance is ra and armature inductance is la which is connected to motor and motor will having a back emf that is eb and the field voltage will be separately field winding will be separately excited with a voltage and the field current will flows through the field winding so this is about the single phase full converter drive circuit and uh, this explanation so we will move on to the waveforms directly so the voltage and current waveforms so if you observe here similar to the semi single phase semi converter there are the positive and negative half cycles will be changes from 0 to pi and 2 pi and 3 pi as well as 4 pi so for this the voltage will be changes its polarity 0 pi and 2 pi and 3 pi and 4 pi and the supply voltage uh, we have seen in the semi converter waveform now so the supply voltage will be like this waveform the supply voltage so this I can I can call it as supply voltage supply voltage and the uh, gate pulse second one is gate pulse for this second gate pulse so it is applied at alpha pi plus alpha and 2 pi plus alpha and 3 pi plus alpha so if you observe here from alpha alpha to pi plus alpha there are two thyristors in conduction so if you see in the circuit diagram so these two thyristors t1 as well as t3 t1 and t3 will be turned on at alpha and uh, at pi plus alpha at pi plus alpha these two thyristors t2 and t4 will be turned on t2 and t4 will be turned on at pi plus alpha and uh, t1 and t3 will be turned on at alpha so if you see here first we will trigger t1 and t3 so t1 and t3 for this t1 and t3 it will follow the supply voltage no so it will follow the supply voltage so this is the supply voltage so i can write same the supply voltage here from uh, alpha to pi plus alpha same waveform will be there so same waveform if you observe here this is the waveform so same waveform i have represented here so in this conduction from alpha to pi alpha to pi plus alpha alpha to pi plus alpha t1 as well as t3 will be turned on condition and from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha another two thyristors will be in conduction no thus two thyristors will be t2 and t4 so from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha t2 and t4 will be 
turned on and t1 and t3 gets commutated in the same way again t2 uh, pi plus alpha to 3 pi plus alpha the t1 and t3 will convex again from 3 pi plus alpha to 4 pi plus alpha t2 and t4 will convex so same waveform will be repeated for every cycle this is the voltage waveform the current will be continuous only no so from alpha to pi plus alpha t1 and t3 will convex from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha t2 and t4 will convex so the current will be continuous waveform so it will follows the uh, waveform source voltage waveform so the current will be continuous current is continuous and next we will observe i current across thyristor t1 and t2 so i current across t1 and t2 means uh, the waveform if you observe here the current t1 and t3 will conduct from alpha to pi plus alpha no so from alpha to pi plus alpha t1 and t2 will conduct so this is the waveform so for this waveform the current will be flows from alpha to pi plus alpha again from 2 pi plus alpha to 3 pi plus alpha again it will conduct no so i can represent here 2 pi plus alpha to 3 pi plus alpha the thyristors t1 and t2 will conduct i t3 and t4 for current t3 and t4 it will conduct from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha so from pi plus alpha to 2 pi plus alpha i t3 and t4 will conduct again t2 and t4 uh, the 3 pi plus alpha to 4 pi plus alpha it will conduct and the source current will changes from positive half cycle and negative half cycle similar to the semi converter diagram so these are the waveforms uh, from alpha to pi plus alpha and pi plus to to pi plus alpha so same waveforms will be repeated next we will move on to the current and uh, torque speed equations if you see here uh, if i apply kvl in the loop kvl in the loop equations so i will show the circuit so that it is uh, easy for you so here i am applying kvl if i apply kvl in this loop the current and voltage equations are so kvl in this loop uh, the current equation and voltage equation so va equal to ia ra the current across the resistor will be ia ra and uh, uh, voltage across inductor will be l into dia by dt plus motor back emf this will be ev so this is the voltage equation as you know the average motor terminal voltage is given by the average motor terminal voltage va equal to 1 by pi and it will conduct from alpha to pi plus alpha no so i am taking the boundary limits from alpha to pi plus alpha so uh, while in case of semi converter we have taken from alpha to pi only but in case of full converter it will conduct from alpha to pi plus alpha vm sin omega t d omega t integration of sin omega t value will be minus cos omega t no so va equal to vm by pi sin omega t integration it will be minus cos omega t and applying boundary limits from alpha to pi plus alpha it will be 2 vm by pi cos alpha it will be the equation so if i take this equation speed equation as you know the speed equation n equal to va minus ira by ka pi no so i can substitute this va value va value we have got that 2 vm by pi cos alpha no so i can substitute in the place of va here in the place of va i have substituted so the va value equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha minus ira by ka pi so this is the speed equation so from the speed equation as you know torque is directly proportional to pi into i no so i can uh, remove this directly proportionality constant so torque equal to ka pi into i but i value is t by ka pi no so i can substitute this uh, i value here so n equation equal to v 2 vm by pi cos alpha by ka pi this is one term and in the place of i i have substituted t by ka pi so t into r a by ka pi whole square this is the speed equation in terms of uh, the average speed next we will move on to the characteristics so this is the voltage and uh, firing angle characteristics so as you know we are taking the output voltage v not v not at an alpha equal to 0 at an angle alpha equal to 0 as you know va value equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha no 2 vm by pi cos alpha so i can substitute this alpha equal to 0 value here if i substitute alpha value is 0 2 vm by pi cos alpha cos zero value will be 1 no so the value will be 2 vm by pi so alpha value 0 the value will be 2 vm by pi 
so at an angle alpha value is 0 i am representing the value as 2 vm by pi uh, again at alpha equal to 90 degrees if you take alpha value equal to 90 degrees the va value equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha no 2 vm by pi cos alpha for this alpha value 90 degrees the va value will be 0 cos 90 value will be 0 no so the va value will be 0 so i can represent 90 at 90 degrees the value of output voltage will be 0 again at alpha equal to 180 degrees at an angle alpha equal to 180 degrees the va value equal to 2 vm by pi cos alpha no so the cos 180 cos 180 value will be minus 1 so the va value will be minus 2 vm by pi minus 2 vm by pi so i can represent here minus 2 vm by pi in the negative side so at an angle 0 the value will be 2 vm by pi at 90 degrees the value will be 0 at 180 degrees the value will be minus 1 these are the voltage versus firing angle waveform next we will move on to speed torque characteristics similar to single phase semiconductor while decreasing the speed the firing angle also decreases so it is a drooping straight line characteristics drooping straight line characteristics as it is a separately excited motor no so it is exhibits a drooping straight line characteristics for speed torque so this is about uh, your uh, converters so for firing angle uh, 0 to 90 greater than 90 degrees uh, the armature voltage will be negative so it can apply as inversion mode so it can act as a inverter so for alpha greater than 90 degrees uh, it will act as a inverter so for inverter it can operate uh, as a generator power supply uh, so generator power is supplied to the source so it can act as a regenerative braking so it can act as a regenerative braking so this uh, regenerative braking we will uh, see in the second inverter so for alpha greater than 90 degrees it will act as a inverter so this is about the uh, full converter speed torque characteristics thank you guys we will meet in next class Thank you.